Sarcophilus growth with cores of darkness. The material is organic. It reminds me of a certain flora kept by our silver-tongued drifter. Curious. The Cabal here, their minds hang suspended in the death rows of cognition, falling into a singularity. Scorn. They did not come from Callus's menagerie. The dark ether in this device has been tampered with. Its connection to the darkness galvanized, rooted. Callus always did embody a clever sort of madness. Wine? No. Concentrated dark ether. These are similar to Galron's chamber in the Royal Baths, but without life support systems. Micro etchings along the interior walls. Scratches. Jump logs indicate this ship made birth from the Leviathan. Its pilot has an officer's clearance. The Guardian appears to have a long and storied history with the Emperor. This is an address from Callus to his crew. I chose Galron, and his frailty betrayed us. He was too pure, too alone. Our new guests are neither. A glorious chain of dark minds, an open mouth for the one in the darkness, that it may sing in exaltation of my majesty. Greatness recognizes greatness. To invoke the attention of the end, our offer must be great. Scans of the anomaly they chased, left in Mars's wake. It's a part of the darkness, one piece of a larger web. Others align with our missing planets and moons, as well as many points beyond Sol's borders. Callus's scribe identifies a voice in the darkness, one of their mother, of dead enemies, of Gaul. They say it spoke to Callus in his own voice, taught him how to commune. His counselors work to isolate and contact the entity that speaks. A Scorpius turret. Its munitions are spent. The battle report shows skirmishes across the ship, battling several containment breaches. Still, Callus pressed on. A refuse heap. Darkness, soot, ether. They were burning the spent scorn to ash. Cabal regalia tracks combat data. I can access this. An incendiata deployed to halt the scorn reanimation. The incendiata was later embedded with a team set to detonate the ship's reactor. They rose on their own. That is a new and concerning development. Resurrection does not make one invulnerable. Your kind taught us that. These orders did not come from Callus. Callus's surgeons experimented on the scorn. Cranial dissections. Dark ether drownings to engorge them. Zions carved telepathic imprints into their brains. Linked them together in shared consciousness. The collective mind was then opened through an artifact. A crown of possession. All to exploit their connection to the darkness. Had Callus seen Toro Bottle fall? As I did, would he have learned then? The ghost was injured here. The remnants of its light pooled around the dark center. A memory, preserved in physical form. You said you wouldn't. You promised. 
Everything you say is a lie! A chalice of opulence. The inscription reads, To my captain, cast your shadow in the face of darkness, that you might drink of its beauty and grow fat. Your guardian was a traitor then. Seduced by Callus's posturing. Like so many powerful fools who think themselves invincible. 